Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Guild Wars 2 and our warrior leveling playthrough. Uh, today we're starting off in the southern part of the Keswick Hills. I'm going to try to come down here south of the road and see if we have an unexplored area there because we do still have at least one vista, one waypoint, one heart. And, uh, well, the heart might be... Yeah, the heart, okay. Well, I know what the heart is. <laughs> the heart's the one that we are not doing. Uh, the vistas, it's marking them for us, and one of them is, in fact, over here. So yeah, let's head south and see if we can open up that area. Uh, other than that, other than revealing the last few destination points on our map for this area, there's not really a lot left here to do. And so I, I foresee that we're going to move on from here pretty soon. Uh, and uh, as far as where we're going to go, I think we're going to go over into this level 15 to 25 area here to the west. That's kind of the current plan. Uh, I did equip a rifle. Uh, mainly to pull enemies at distance. Uh, which we'll be doing a lot more of when we're actually planning our pulls out. Uh, and, you know, not just getting attacked randomly on the road. Uh, where do I want to go here? I, I feel like I should probably come this way. Maybe coming from here would be better to get this. I just, I want to kind of see what's down here though. So I'm going to do that first. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Thank you for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I do very much appreciate that. I have to assume we've already talked to this guy. Girl, this lake was gal, food source and we livelihood. haven't, Before the or have we? Before the alliance of Crate and Nightmare Court polluted it with their vile tower. Hmm. We could sure use your help cleaning up the mess they left behind. Yeah, I, I feel like we've probably already talked to her. I mean, we've already discovered those hearts, so... If that's anything to go by, which it might not be. Now, there might not be a way to get where I'm trying to go. Yeah, maybe this is all, uh... This looks pretty well cordoned off by this mountainside here. I don't know if we can climb up here at all. Yeah, maybe this is uh, maybe this is nothing down here. Maybe that's why there's nothing down there. Let's let's come over here, and we'll head towards the area of interest that we can see on the map. Feeling like this is gonna happen up top. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna be something we get to from underneath. But that being said, I don't see a way to be up top on this side. Maybe I have to come and start over on this side. I guess sometimes just finding the thing on your map is part of the gameplay loop. It's part of the terrain puzzle you have to solve to kind of get all your objectives done. And yeah, that's okay. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to in an MMO, obviously. Because, yeah, like here, for instance, I, I don't see any way to get to our objective. I mean, I can keep, uh, I can keep up with this, I guess, but this does not seem like a, a way to go. We can go back into the cave. That's not going to get us where we're going either, I don't think. Maybe, maybe it circles around. Yeah, um, huh. Well, it definitely falls off. Yeah, this is a cool little area, like, to be sure. It's very Dark Souls-esque. I <laughs> just don't know about this jump. Yeah, like, that was never gonna happen for me, so... I don't know, guys. Might be giving up on this one. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, that's okay. That looks like a really cool area. I'm gonna pass. Let's come over here and let's go investigate the next zone, shall we?
Okay, we are in the Wendon Steps. Willem's bandits aren't content with bothering the local skirt population, now they are getting bold enough to steal our supplies. Why are a peacemaker and a wild hunt valiant in your camp? This patch of Tyria is devoid of law enforcement and that's attracting... That's in attracting inquest? Okay. Nightmare court and band... I guess inquest is like a group? That's attracted inquest, nightmare court, and bandits. We're working together to fight them. How can I help you with the bandits? Help any seraph you see in the field. Bandits can be hiding anywhere, so watch out for anything suspicious, like a rattling bush, perhaps. And if you find any stolen seraph supplies, bring them back to me. Okay, so supplies and rustling bushes, right? We're pretty familiar with this formula by now. they That's where they love to hide. I, I don't know why. Ooh, I saw that wind up. I don't think it still hit us, though. Uh, we haven't seen any uh, fallen seraphs. I guess we're just looking for the supplies. It says help seraph and local script. I guess that's just the overall description. I for some reason thought there'd also be people for us to res, but I guess not. Uh, I have this feeling like we're soon going to be out of the area for this, reinforced by the fact that I'm not seeing any more shaking bushes. Oh wait, here we go. Here is somebody to resurrect. I'm always wary of exploring too far while I'm working on a heart because I often get to have the experience of just wandering out of the area and I don't always realize it until it's too late and I'm fighting stuff in an area that I'm not getting credit for the heart. Uh, here's a bandit mines. Oh! Um, did I walk over a bandit mine? Hmm, I must have walked over one without seeing it. It's a little weird. Fire! 
one's over here. Yeah, I mean, I dodge rolled that one and he still hit me, so. Maybe I didn't dodge roll early enough for the game. Uh, let's see, what's over here? Escort? I don't like the escort ones, they take so long. I mean, granted, they're probably worth a pretty big chunk of experience, but... Excuse me? Am I walking over mines, guys? I mean, I'm not seeing them, and they, they, they are here, though, right? Okay, yeah, it's just not showing me... But, I mean, we can agree that right now I'm not. Am I getting hurt by Start walking in a crippled state? We'll kill these that must be what's hurting me. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even sure how much that's helping. There is an event over here. Kill bandits to stop something. Yeah, I guess that's already over. That was fast. Kill bandits to do something was about all I got to read of that before that one was done. I do see a bunch of players down here, so they probably wrapped it up really quick. Uh, okay. So. Back to our bush hunting. Yeah, so we've got to be out of range, right? And, uh, yep, I look up and I see that we are, in fact, out of range. I think that last kill counted, though, so that's good. I hear rustlings. Here we go. Let's check up here. Oh, you were carting around some Seraph supplies. Yeah, we'll take those. Thank you. Uh, there's a Seraph soldier here amidst all these raptors. I guess we'll go help out. I don't know what that was, he just tried to spit at us, but it looked pretty disgusting. I'm glad I dodged it. Nice one. Who says nice one when somebody has just murderized them? Oh yeah, nice one. You guys keep telling me to go back and talk to the heart person after I've completed the quest, so I'm gonna go do that and see why one might need to do that. Uh, because I, I feel like you get everything here. 
Some think that criminals can do as they please as long as they do it away from the eyes of lawful citizens. The truth is we can't allow bandits to go forward with their schemes even out in the wild lands such as these. I'm glad to have someone like you on our side who understands the importance of this. Perhaps you could be of service to the Seraph observers posted west of here. Okay, so let's go back and talk to that person and see if they have anything to add to any of that. Until you showed up, our men were frustrated fighting bandits at every turn. You gave them hope and a reason to keep fighting. We'd like to offer you some supplies. Oh, they become a vendor. Okay, somebody mentioned that they become a vendor, but I didn't know that they would have stuff that we'd actually want to buy. What is this purple currency? It's whatever it is, I have 12,150 of it. Um, I don't think any of this is going to be necessarily useful to me with the stuff I have on, but... It's good to know that they, uh, they become a vendor. We can sell our junk. Unusable by profession. Uh, the strong rifle is not stronger than the rifle I have equipped, I don't think. Let me see. Yeah, it's not. Uh, the stuff that says unusable by profession, anything that is not an upgrade, I'm going to sell. I never knew these bandits before coming here. It's shocking to see how dangerous they've made the north. The west of the wildlands is riddled with them as well. We've even seen them consorting with the inquest. Alright, that should be good. Okay, yep, I appreciate that. I will check the vendors, especially as we get into higher level areas, to see if they have any upgrades for us. Uh, for now, let's come down... Well, let's go get this point of interest over here. So alt, alt and click, I can set my own waypoint. That's, uh, how do I get that then to track up here? Yeah, it's not really useful. Well, I mean, I guess it's useful in the sense that I can see it on the map. But if I, I can't change my, like, marker to it, I still have to glance down at the mini-map. It's pointing me where I want to go anyway, so ultimately it's not worth it. If I knew he was going to take so long coming back to us, I would have just kept shooting him. Okay, this is a, a bandit camp. I, I, I mean, I'd love to get this point of interest without having to fight my way in here. But it looks like if I want to get in here, I have to fight my way in here. So, here we go. Brutal shot, immobilize your foe, then evade backwards. That's cool. Oh, cool, I like that. <laughs> That's just good fun. Okay. Uh, we did get the point here, but we have an unexplored area. Unexplored area, so does that mean that I can come over here somehow? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, 
All right, well, we've revealed all this. I don't know if I want to keep just continuing in this direction. I think I, I would rather come back this way and find the scouting report. So now that we've opened this up, we can kind of circle back here. Uh, this, I'm not sure I want to take this on. Time until germination. Event fails if the Vigil Siege Master dies. Okay. This seems like the kind of thing that I would want to see a bunch of other players tackling in order for me to also take part in it. Yeah, group event to me means that uh, I don't want to do that on my own. What's this down here? Okay, this is escorting the Toxic Siege Master. So maybe this is where the players are at. Maybe we should get in on this. I don't know why I'm missing the mine, but... Okay. Yeah, I can stop shooting at everything in existence now. Uh, then again... I only see one other player. This might be tough. Can I heal this guy at all? Probably not. Okay, he's evading while he's underground. That's not good. Start dropping the poison traps. We kill these swift with our own stupidity. The faster we kill these swift, the faster we break the door. Ouch. I pressed my heal there, but I don't think it went off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this was not a good idea. Uh, it's I'm having a hard time in this game, like, judging what enemies I can fight, what enemies I shouldn't fight, what enemies I need other people around for. It's uh, it's a bit much of a learning curve. Uh, also, the circles on the ground, I don't know when they're good for me, bad for me. I need a little bit clearer telegraphs. I can't tell what is like a thing that a player has dropped down and what is a thing that uh, an enemy has dropped down that I might want to avoid. Obviously, like a player thing like might be this. This, this could be hurting me. It's probably hurting me. I don't know why it would be. I'm just taking mad damage from something passive that I can't stop, so that's fun. Real fun. Good times. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we completed whatever the thing was, so that's fine. I mean, I never understood for a minute what was happening, so... Somebody will heal me. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Still have no idea what was going on there, uh, but we did get it done. Gather? Sure, why not? Some bonus experience, okay, good. Prevent Skrit from approaching poisonous traps. Disarm the traps before Skrit can reach them. Okay. Are they trying to like suicide out on the traps? Nothing? No. Nothing here. Ah, spit. Okay. Okay, well that's done, it looks like. Whatever it was. Uh, I'm gonna continue down here and look for the scout. Let's go find the scout. That way we can get a clearer idea of exactly what kinds of stuff we might be doing. We're gonna leave the bush alone for the time being. It seems strange to find bandits this far south, but here they are. 
and in large numbers, too. Willem's group tries to steal our supplies when they aren't harassing the local scrit. If that wasn't bad enough, Scotta's bunch have taken control of the route to the west. Between you and me, we have no idea what those thugs are up to out there. Okay, uh, let's take a closer look. So really all it revealed was what? This over here. We have gates over here, which I have not seen anything about gates before. Another 15 to 25 area here as well. I'm feeling like this area maybe extends to the south a ways. We have a, a scout report down here. Waypoints, we can get some up to the north it looks like. Huh. Yeah, let's let's go over here I guess. It's kind of like back the exact way we just came. But that's fine. Yeah, I think I'm liking the rifle in the offhand slot and the double axes for my main weapon. I think I'm just going to stick with that. There's probably like endless permutations and different things that I could play around with, but uh, I'd like to kind of start to get to learn some actual weapon sets. And learn some like rotation stuff about like how to best perform my abilities in order, and I don't think that's ever going to happen if I don't stick with some abilities. I need to remember that this is taking no damage from attack, so if my heal is not up, I need to tap this. Balance stance gains stability and swiftness, so that can stop us from being knocked down or critical hits, maybe? Immunity to critical hits, periodically gains stabilized, stability cannot be knocked down, pushed back, pulled, launched, stunned, dazed, floated, sunk, feared, or, ta or taunted. Okay, good! It prevents a lot of stuff, yeah. Uh, did I eat him? <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. He, he just... Oh, good, you went into stealth or something and like... Oh, we... that The facing didn't matter there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright, destroy or confiscate bandit supplies, destroy bandit weapons and roadblocks. Let's go talk to the heart. Skoda's bandits cut us off from the Seraph Observer Camp to the west. Grenth Scythe, we're sitting ducks out here. How can I help? Help any Seraph you see, especially anyone taking goods to the east. You can cripple the bandits out here by destroying their supplies, and if you see anything you like in there, feel free to keep it. Anything else? They've been building roadblocks along this path. Destroying them will help us out a lot. Also, Skoda's group sometimes gets supplies to make inquest turrets, so take out those turrets and the supplies. Wait, inquest turrets? They must be stealing them from one of the labs. What's important is that we won't let Skoda's band keep them. Can I count on you to get rid of them? I'll do what I can. There's a, uh, a graduation party going on across the street from where I live today, so my dog is just looking out the window and every person that he sees, he is just going to bark at them while I'm down here. Uh, you know, to let me know that there's humans in the neighborhood that he doesn't know. Okay, these are the inquest turrets. Okay. Oh, there's multiple firing at us here. Yeah, all I have to say about dogs is that if you, if your work requires you to be on comms or requires some kind of quiet and you work from home, don't get a blue healer. Yeah, they basically think it's their job to tell you whenever there's a human being moving around in the neighborhood.
Yeah, I could have I could have dodged that. I saw the wind up on it. I got to get better about trying to dodge those. Well, we can loot this one. See, this has been a great this has been a great heart. There's been lots of enemies to fight. There's been lots of objectives visible on the ground that I can see. Uh, there have been multiple objectives, like the turrets are good, the looting the chest, destroying the chest, fighting the guys, whatever this thing is, this is also a turret. So yeah, this has been an example of like what I would like to see more of when it comes to like having these these heart quest areas. Just more objectives, you know, more more available objectives. I'm not kidding. Oh, you're shooting me. <laughs> yeah, I can tell that that was a shot. It didn't look very painful. I almost ignored it for a minute, like a puffy purple ball of gas striking us with minimal oomph. See, that was smooth and easy. I like that one. With you occupying the attention of Skoda's bandits, we've been able to get supplies across the line, enough to offer you a small boon for your efforts. As you continue into the wilderness, I ask only that you consider helping not only the Seraph, but any wild hunt valiants of pe or peacemakers you encounter. I believe that by working together, we will prevail over our common enemies. As it should be. Okay, let, let's go back and talk to him. I'll try to make a habit of this, even though I, I kind of like... Part of me kind of thinks it's like against the spirit of the way the game is set up like because you know this is like an automated quest that's like saying hey you don't have to talk to and turn in at a quest giver so if I go back every time I feel like I'm just doing a quest and completing it so maybe I won't turn it in right now uh, like w like I said when we get into bigger uh, sorry higher level areas then I will definitely be checking out their shops but I feel like my gear is okay uh, do we want to take this person on by ourselves? No. You got a gold circle with two swords crossed through it. I think we're going to go ahead and pass on her for now. I am going to come down here and get the scout. That's kind of a uh, amazing view. I like it. Okay. Tell us about the area. Best watch your step in this area. My Seraph brothers and sisters maintain an outpost just north of here, but we're spread thin and constantly harassed by nearby bandits. The outlaws have three fortified camps to the west as well, so be careful. Anything you can do to secure this area would be appreciated. Alright, yeah, looks like we have a lot more to do. Level 21, 22. It looks like everything in this area is going to be stuff that we can do. You know, we're well within the, the level bracket. And then there's going to be stuff down here to the south as well. I think I'll work through this entire western section. We'll clear all that out. And then we'll take on the southern section and try to figure out at what point does it transition into the Bisbon Wildlands. But yeah, guys, I'm still having a lot of fun here. I, I love seeing the new zones. It really does have an awesome sense of exploration. The game feels very open to me. Even when I get frustrated finding one objective, it's really easy just to make the decision to move on to something else and not really feel bad about it. Or like you're missing out on too much. Uh, and I really, really enjoy that. Obviously, the game is absolutely enormous. I I'm not going to see all the zones in this playthrough. So I'm just kind of following a path that feels natural to me. And yeah, so far, it feels pretty good and I am happy to be here. Thank you to all of you guys for your continued support of the series. You are the reason I get to do this and I very much appreciate you being here and hanging out with me. Until next time guys, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other and we will see you back in Guild Wars 2 again really soon. Bye now.